Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Ayesh from Malayala. So finally, JE Advanced Information Brochure is out now. I know I'm making this video a bit late, but I feel it's never late uh, for all those guys who are waiting for my way of explanation and my way of giving you the information. So without taking much time, let's get into the video and uh, let's know more about JE Advanced 2023. So this year, the JE Advanced 2023 is being conducted by IID Gohati, I think most of you already know about it. Every year, uh, any or one or the other IIT will conduct it. So this year, it's a turn of IIT Gohati. So this is the organizing institute and the contact details. So these are the contact details. So there is a mail ID, official mail ID, jeadv2023 at iidg.ac.in. So this is the official website of JE Advanced. So let's uh, deep dive more into JE Advanced information brochure. And uh, I'll give you all the important things from this particular thing. So usually you guys know what are all the colleges uh, do accept officially through JAB joint, I mean through JOSA. So it will be IITs which accept the uh, JE advanced score. So there are like almost seven zones, East, Central, North, Central, so Northeast, North zone, South, West. So almost seven uh, centers are there. You can see uh, like everything, every IIT is been mentioned here. So wherever there is a star, that means that is the zonal coordinating IIT to connect JE advanced 2023. Okay. And academic programs in IITs they offer BTEC, BS, BR, dual degree, BTEC, MTEC, dual degree, BS, MS, integrated MTEC, integrated MSc. All these courses being offered across all the IITs uh, which are there in India. So if you are father or mother who served in army or paramilitary or defense and they got killed or uh, permanently disabled. So you can utilize this opportunity by providing necessary documents. Super numeracy seats for female so in order to increase the girl strength in IITs uh, this particular thing was uh, introduced by government of India so like and th there will be 20 percent uh, female seats are increased for only specially for girls and for foreign nationals 10 percent of total number of seats in every course will be given for foreign foreign nationals and the foreign national candidates who have studied or studying in India or abroad at 10 plus 2 level or equivalent at the time of registering for JE advanced 2023 are not required to write JE mains they may directly register 20 uh, advanced directly they need not to write JE mains foreign nationals who are studying here in India or outside India it's irrespective but if you are a foreign national you need not write JE means other uh, other than um, IITs what are all the other colleges which accept JE advanced score is uh, IASC Bangalore IASC ISERS there are like uh, Barampur, uh, Bhopal, Kolkata, Mohali, Pune, Tiruvananthapuram and Tirupati and uh, Indian Institute of Space Technology and uh, see this is IAST Tiruvananthapuram, Rajiv Gandhi, RGIPT, Ray Barley and there are few more like IIP, Petroleum and Energy, Vishakhapatnam. These are some colleges which also accept JE Advanced score uh, in order to take admission. So now talking about examination. So exam will be conducted in two papers. Uh, so both papers is compulsory. So paper one will be morning session. Paper two will be afternoon, 4, 9 to 12. 230 to 5:30. So it is on June 4th, 2023, Sunday. So first Sunday of June. So they are going to connect the JE Advanced 2023. So even if it is public holiday, they are not going to change this date. So whoever is having with at least 40% of impairment like PWD candidates, so they will get uh, uh, like end time will be for one o'clock. So they will get one more extra hour for each and every paper. So this is complimentary for those people who are having more than 40% of disability. So wait, wait, wait. You may be knowing the fact that if you clear JE mains, then only you will be allowed to write JE advance, right? So you guys, uh, like I guess most of you are already preparing uh, for JE mains in a full flow. In your preparation, adding a slot for mock test is really, really, really important. So, but there may be, there will be few people who will be always looking for mock test where they have to attempt the mock test and all. So. I have one solution for all those people who are looking for actual and genuine mock test for JE mains 2023. So this is the book from Oswald books, JE mains mock test, 15 sample question papers are there for you guys. Uh, so actual in the actual format of JE mains exam. So like as per the latest exam pattern issued by JE apex board, right? So they have 15 papers here in this book. So maybe like you may be having the typical way of pen and paper mode but it's okay it's all about how much time you're taking to solve the questions and how much time you're taking for each and every subject and how much time you're able to finish and how many questions you're able to solve in the given time so these are all the things which you need to take care while writing the mock test right so you can also try out this particular book from Oswald books they have 15 
papers question papers i have gone through this book so like it is structured very well and uh, you have also have got each and every solution for each and every question and they have also provided some hints in the solutions so first you have to try then you have to check the score then you can go through the solutions and you can just check for the hints so that's a great idea by oswald books so if you see here uh, they have latest solved papers 2022 two shifts are also there in this book apart from those 15 papers smart answer keys with detailed explanation and subject wise and chapter wise trend analysis so that will help you to prepare smartly for your exam so as days are getting near by year so you have to prepare smartly so you have to focus first more on those topics which are i have been asked mostly in the few pa last few years so if you do that so ultimately that will be a kind of advantage right so from this book you will also understand the trend analysis which chapters are being asked mostly and next thing is cognitive learning mind maps mnemonics and appendix see guys so if you want to revise one topic so they have this particular mind maps this is like great idea actually so giving this particular mind maps in almost every book of Oswald books is a really great idea so like if you have some uh, doubts on a particular topic you just go through mind maps and go through all those things so you'll be revised about everything so like that for all physics chemistry maths is being provided in this book also and next blender learning with print and online support valuable exam insights tips tricks and shortcuts are also provided in this particular book this kind of book is surely a weapon for a soldier like you who are preparing for je mains 2023 last year i have suggested these books to many other students so everyone gave a positive response and they messaged me that these books are really helpful for them during their last days of preparation so what are you guys waiting for you can also check out the links in the description and also take one for you and also start preparing from these books from oswald books so now coming to eligibility criteria who all are eligible to write je advanced 2023 so coming to this je advanced 2023 who are all eligible is first based on the performance in JEMS 2023 so based on your performance how you performed so these reservations are there right 10% AWS 27% OB essential 15% SC 7.5 ST and remaining 40.5% is for open for all within uh, each of these five categories 5% horizontal reservation will be for see in this 10% for example 100 seats are there in that 5% is 5 seats will be for PWD students so first correct criteria would be category wise distribution on 2,50,000 candidates so they are going to take 2,50,000 out of all the students who have attempted JE mains. So how they are going to do? From open, they will be taking 1,1,250 members. From general AWS, 25,000. OBC and 67,500. And for SC, they will take 37,500. And for ST, they will take 18,750. Top top or for example if i talk about st top 18750 students are eligible for writing je advanced 2023 from je means so criteria 2 age limit so you should uh, born or after 1998 5 years age relaxation is given to scst so for them so you should born or after 1993 october 1st okay so criteria 3 is number of attempts so maximum two times you can write for example if you are a double dropper uh, you are not allowed to write je advance you are only allowed to write je means okay got it so if you are a single dropper like one year gap between your class 12 and joining engineering if you have a one year of drop you are allowed to write je advance but if you have two years of drop previous year also you wrote je advance so that means if you write this year it will be the third time so you are not allowed to write the third time so only two times in two consecutive years is eligible criteria four appearance in class 12 or equivalent exam so you should be either attempting your class 12 either in 2022 or 2023 the guys there is a bomb again so the candidate must satisfy at least one of the following two criteria with physics chemistry maths as compulsory subject in the year of first appearance in class 12 must have secured at least 75 percent aggregate marks in class 12 for or equivalent board examination the aggregate marks for SCST and PWD should be at least 65%. So it should be more than that. Must be within or either this or this. Must be within top 20% of successful candidates in their respective class 12 or equivalent board examination. So this is for those uh, boards which are really hard like for example uh, UP board and Bihar board getting more than 75% is like really hard there so the boards are very hard so for those people you should be in the top 20 percentage right? percentile percentile so here they have cleared clearly mentioned that whoever passed in 2022 or 2021 
so they should surely have 75 percent criteria and 65 percent for SCST. So like if they wish to appear for improvement, they can appear, but there is no change. That's how they are uh, mentioned here. So that means droppers, uh, you are really unlucky, guys. Really sorry, sorry for your situation. I can understand your situation, but after seeing this, like my mind was blown out. Criteria 5. This is the fifth criteria. A candidate should not have been admitted to IIT irrespective of whether or not candidate continued in the program or accepted an IIT seat by reporting online or at reporting center in the past. So you have participated in some counseling, JOSA counseling. You got IIT but you rejected it and you didn't join there. So you are not eligible. So please check that. If you are not eligible, don't try to waste your one year. So do something. Coming to registration. So registration will be starting from uh, 30th April so that means before 30th April you are going to get your JE means results best of two results and you are going to get the rank and last date for fee payment for registered candidates is May 5th 5 p.m. one day okay, gap will be, will be there and coming to fees what is the fees for female candidates all categories the fees is 1450 rupees SC ST PWD 1450 all other candidates the fees is 2900 it's like really huge they have increased it a lot uh, compared to my time candidates residing in sark countries you need to pay 90 us dollars and uh, non sark 180 us dollars so what are all the certificates which are required while applying so before applying itself make sure you keep all these things ready because during application time if you miss something it will become a issue again so before application itself before just uh, like after april 1st my suggestion would be if you are obc ncl or uh, ews students better try to make all your certificate after april 1st so april 30 they are going to start right almost 30 days gap will be there by the time uh, registration starts all certificates will be ready so first is class 10th certificate you should provide class 10 certificate if date of birth is mentioned in that it's okay if not mentioned you have to provide birth certificate once secure class 10 certificate if not make your birth certificate ready and class 12 certificate and for candidates for general AWS so that should be after April 1st 2023 that's why I'm saying better make it after April 1st and uh, who fails to submit a general certificate at the time of organization the candidate has to upload a declaration so for example you are applying for the uh, je advanced 2023 you don't have the certificate at that particular time so they have given one declaration that i am i belongs to general ews i will surely provide that during the counseling but as of now please allow me to apply for je advanced so, so that's what you are requesting them so that's a declaration form so if at all you find me that i am not a general ews candidate my candidature you can cancel my candidature so that's how like you are giving declaring them that and same with the obc ncl so it should be also after uh, april 1st 2023 only so if you don't have there is also one more declaration you can upload that i'll show you all the certificate formats at the end and for candidates SCST, irrespective of the year whatever year it, it may be like you if you created it five years back it's okay that you can upload you need not to create new one so that is enough and uh, pwd category so you should provide accordingly the actual certificate at least 40 percent should be there if you have less than that your candidature will be cancelled so coming to admit card so admit card will be given to you from may 29th to june 4th where you will know where is the exam and which is the center and all those details you will come uh, come to know and uh, question paper coming to question paper so question paper will be two two papers three hours each maths physics chemistry will be there pattern you will be directly known uh, when you directly go and sit in the exam hall until and unless you sit there you don't know the pattern responses will be given to you on june 9th 2023 june 4th you will be having exam they will take five days and they'll give you the response sheet whatever options you have selected they will give you uh, you can download that response sheet online display of provisional answer keys so provisional is there is a chance if there is a mistake there is a scope for changing you can also request or uh, challenge them and uh, feedback will be taken till 12th and the online final answer key will be given on 18th and i guess after that result will be given rank list will be given so based on the rank list uh, the josa counseling process will start admission into iits nits triple ids gfti's whatever ias uh, isers iasc iast iip if you want yourself to be in the rank list so for crl so minimum percentage of marks in each subject should be 10 percent and minimum percentage of aggregate marks means the total marks should be 35 percent more than that then only you will be in the rank list for general AWS 9 percent and overall it should be more than 31.5 percent for uh, sc like uh, for sc sc if you want if you're sc candidate and if you want be want to be in the rank list so minimum subject wise you have to have at least more than five percent more than 17.5 percent in overall so this is for uh, for form for general ews form general ews so this is how it should be so this is for obc ncl certificate format 
So this is of SCST certificate format. So usually SCST have uh, same for almost every state. So this is PWD form and PWD3 form and uh, PWD4 form. So according based on the disability, they have to provide ac accordingly. And the, mm, mostly people know it. This dyslexic one and uh, next is uh, dyslexic two. And uh, this is for those who want. Uh, like having those are having uh, difficulty in writing the exam they should provide fill print this and uh, submit it to the nearest uh, IT coordinating IT so this is for uh, defense students like whoever um, parents got killed or permanently disabled they have to f sub, uh, like download this fill these details and submit it and uh, this is for scribe if you want help in the exam because of your uh, uh, like disability so you can just uh, download this and fill this and submit it to nearest IIT so you can see so which IIT you are giving that so if you are giving to IIT Hyderabad you have to tick that tick appropriate zone that's how they are giving form compensatory time one so if you want more time like for mainly for PWD you have to submit this also to nearest IIT coordinating coordinating IIT for form compensatory time for two okay so that's you see whichever is uh, eligible for you you have to see so declaration by the candidate in the leave of uh, OBC NCL, if you are unable to submit the OBC NCL certificate on time, you have to print this, fill the details and upload. Uh, for e general AWS, if you are unable to submit the actual form, fill this, upload. I know the video is like really huge, but I guess I have uh, given you a lot of information uh, from the JE Advanced 2023 information brochure. The, all the very best for your exams, JE means 2023. So make sure you focus on the first attempt itself first attempt should be the best attempt so thank you for watching if you are new to my channel please do subscribe and support me please do share this video to all your friends so that they'll also get to know each and every detail about je advanced 2023 chalo bye bye see you